Hey guys, before you get into the video, just want to let you know, if you use my promo code EEDC at White Mountain Knives, you get 10% off. If you're interested, check out my Patreon. We give bi-monthly giveaways. The Patreon's www.patreon.com forward slash EEDC. Also, check me out on Instagram. I only use that to communicate with you guys, so check me out. Everyday underscore EDC 77. If you guys have questions, want to talk, just hit me up. All right, enjoy the video, guys. Well, hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday EDC. I haven't been with you guys uh, very adamantly or, you know, I guess I could say religiously or uh, sustained amount of time. I'm giving you guys some intermittent videos here and there. Well, a lot has happened since I've been recording every day and giving you guys videos every day. And I've, I've obtained a lot of knives. What I'm going to do today is just give you guys kind of like a blanket video of everything that I have. I'm not going to talk about each knife for hopefully longer than 10 seconds because I don't want to make this for like a two hour long freaking video. But I got a lot of new stuff in as you can see on the table. Now we're not going to talk about this stuff. Not all of it's new, but we're not going to talk about all of this right now. Plus I have some more stuff coming in very, very shortly. What I'm going to do is I am going to just... Go through my list, show you everything I got, tell you if it's a review knife, whatever, and move on. So first and foremost, currently in my collection is still the Civivi Badlands Vagabond. That will probably go in a sale or a giveaway. We have the Civivi Riffle, once again, sale or giveaway. This just might work, and you see a foot. Alright, so this is my Civivi Elementum in S35. This is a comparison knife and I use that and I probably won't let go of it for a while. This is my Civivi Praxis. I also use this as a size comparison knife. Probably won't go anywhere. As you can see these knives over here kind of are all knives that you're very familiar with and know that I have. The mini Feldspar, the large Feldspar, again review knives. If I need to talk about these knives I'll stop and talk. I'm not just gonna rip through them but Here's the Rat Model 1, or Matt Model 2, my Rat Model 1, great knives, they're just review knives though, I kind of don't carry these just because I choose to carry other things. In no particular order in this list, these are all knives that I have to review still. Here's the CRKT Tuna, this thing's cool, I'm excited to review this. The ones that I get ex like mediumly excited to review, I don't rush, I let, let them sit so I have a chance to carry them. Here is a... Uh, uh, a man bug or something. I don't really know what to do with that. Damn it, Ryan. <clears throat> Here is my mini Centauri. Again, I really like this one. I almost kept this. And then I might just get a full-size Centauri. I don't know. Here is my Ferrum Forge Crux. Again, review knife. This thing is awesome. This is kind of like the best version of a Civivi Backlash, in my opinion. It's just really, really good. Not that it's a backlash, I get it. Here is my American Blade Works Model 5, or version 5. This guy's different, and I know they just came out with the version 6, apparently fixing some stuff. I know nothing about ABW, so that's kind of why it sat for a while. I just haven't had a chance to really dig into it. But this guy's like got some really interesting elements that most knives don't, so that's, that's why I'm kind of hesitant. This is a Artisan Cutlery prototype that I think they're releasing the new model soon, so I need to get this review out. Uh, this guy's cool. He's not my cup of tea, and I'm not a big jade, you know, G10. I know you can dye it whatever color you want. I'm more of a micarta titanium preference, but this is cool, and it's stupid slicey, and the action is dumb. Just dumb. All right. This, you guys all recognize this. This is my Spyderco Tenacious, one of the very first knives that I bought. I had the full uh, straight edge, you know, no serrations, and then I got the serrated one. I actually got rid of the full straight edged one and kept the serrated one. That's kind of like my gardening, you know, knife that I go out there and I cut down. Uh, I, I'm sorry for the, for the uh, weird focus, by the way. It's my garden knife. I use it to, like, cut down branches and stuff. This is the Kaiser Doman. This guy's pretty cool. I haven't reviewed this yet. I got this from Jake at Ohio State uh, in a trade that he hasn't received his knife yet. And there's a reason for that because I haven't had a chance to review the knives that I intend to send him. And thankfully, he's a patient man. Next, in a recent unboxing, this is my CRKT Razzlecliff. This thing's pretty interesting. It brings a lot to the table that some knives don't. 
Here is my CGRB Rhea that just came back in the mail. I gave this away like a year ago, and I cannot get it to the guy. Marcial, I can't get it to you, dude. Um, I'm going to actually do what Metal Complex does and not ship to anybody outside of the states anymore. He actually had a stateside address, and neither one of them worked. They all just kept coming back to me. So this will probably end up in a giveaway of some sort. Maybe I'll sell it. I don't know. This came from, I think, Travis. It's apparently a Gerber. I don't know much about it. I don't even know really to review it or not because I kind of, it's like a friction folder that locks. It's, it's, it's a little odd. It's just, it's interesting. And it was just kind of like a donated to the channel thing. So I appreciate it. Thank you. And we'll figure out something to do with that. This. I've been super excited to carry and the new and new stuff keeps coming in and I just keep putting it off. This is the Off Grid Knives Rhino. This thing is just absolutely wicked. No back and forth, no up and down, drop shot action, great, just a great, great knife. You can fail it, but that's because the detents light because it's such a large blade. But the ergonomics of this guy are in freaking sane. Off-grid knives, Rhino, probably coming in at like 70 bucks. Haven't reviewed it yet, but if you're looking for an overbuilt knife that'll that's capable of anything, boom, there you go. This, on the other hand, I got with the off-grid knives rhino. This is the off-grid rapid fire, I think. I think that's the name of it. And the grinds are all wonky. Like, everything about this guy's kind of odd. Um, the ergonomics are just okay. It's assisted, and that kind of drives me nuts. But I caved because I love off-grid. So I tried it out, and I just wasn't impressed. Every other knife from off-grid, I was impressed. Uh, that one, I was not. This is one Kershaw launch that I don't even... Does it tell me what it is? No. Nah, I don't even know what Kershaw launch series this is. Uh, it's cool. I like it, but it's not my favorite launch. It's just here for review. Uh, this was donated to the channel. This is a SOG Twitch. Or maybe it was done in like a trade. Again, this is kind of one that I'm not 100% sure if I want to review or just give away. I... Uh, this isn't my style, and it just doesn't excite me, so I'm not sure if I'm going to get into that or not. This, I believe I've already reviewed, is a very hard knife to open. My Cold Steel Pro Light, little beast of a knife that's just, this thing's cool. Um, like 30 bucks to get something that you can just beat the living crap out of and can take it. This is another knife from Jake at Ohio State. This is my Steel Wheel Cut Jack. Uh, this guy's, like, awesome, if you guys haven't felt the cut jack. It's kind of awesome as of 2020, 2019, but it is just still amazing as far as ergonomics. This is one that I would put up against the Rat Model 1 as a potential rat killer, in my opinion. This kind of does everything that the rat does, and potentially better, and potentially worse. I haven't compared the two, but I think I need to. Here's my Civivi Imperium. Um, just a review knife. I'll probably review it and get rid of it. It's pretty cool, but just not something that I find myself wanting to carry necessarily. Not for any other reason other than just, I don't. Just got this in, uh, yesterday. This is my Best Tech Mako. This thing's cool. It's a good, good little budget knife. You know, it, it's generic though. This is pretty vanilla. Uh, the review of it's going to be kind of lackluster because it does everything well, but it's just, it's, it, there's nothing exciting about it. The only exciting thing is, is that it does everything well. Here is my QSP Gannett. This is going to be an interesting review. This has a lot of interesting elements that are different. And, you know, front flipper, great finish on the blade, neutral ergonomics. I'm excited to carry and review this. This is cool. And I love QSP. Here is my Gerber Fastball, maybe? Uh, I think it's a Fastball. I don't know. S30V. Another review knife that I got to get on reviewing, and I just haven't gotten around to it. I got this from Eggs and Ham in a trade. Another one that I'm kind of excited to review because it's so different. A Kaiser Jung's. Jung. This is just uh, a really weird looking knife, guys. Look at this. Looks like a fish. Like a swordfish or something, right? But Best Tech already stole that name with a badass knife. So the Kaiser Jung. Um, it's got fantastic action, I can tell you that. No back and forth, no up and down, and watch this. I'm not making it look good. The action is way better than that. Hold on. There we go. Kaiser Jungs, that's cool. Here's another Kershaw launch in my 
effort to review all the Kershaw launches. This is one that I really like. It almost competes with my Kershaw Launch 1. And some and sometimes it does. It's just a little bit stabbier than I prefer, and I prefer a fatter blade. So that's where my Kershaw Launch 1 from the table, which fires harder too, really takes the cake. I think the Kershaw Launch 1 is probably the best full-size automatic that Kershaw makes. In my recent video, this is my CRKT Huron. This thing's pretty cool. Um, again, it's while it's cool, it does a little bit different, but it misses the mark on some places. I don't know. I could recommend it probably for the price. I think the price was like 30 or 40 bucks. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Artisan Cutlery Orion. Orion. Well, I'll get it mixed up with the RIO. Carried this a couple times already. Very cool. We got this milled titanium on this side. A very This blade is the exact same. I've been waiting to do this. I haven't done this yet. Look at that. Like the finishes. Not the finish like necessarily because this has kind of like a bead blast then polished finish but the blades are like very very similar they're very fat and they come down with a flat grind not to something entirely thin behind the edge this guy not isn't necessarily the best slicer but it's a really really cool knife guys this thing's pretty darn cool i'm excited to review this i wish i got my hands in the full tie one this is the steel wheel sargus got this in a in a trade from jake at ohio state uh pretty cool little knife a lot of back and forth that we got to fix before the review. And, yeah, it's just, you know, I try to pick up trades of multiple knives so that I can do, you know, uh, a bunch of reviews out of them so you guys get more content. So I try to get my hands on a bunch of different knives and trades. Here is a knife that I really haven't used and I've had for a very long time. This is my Spyderco Watu. It got a lot. It was like a, it was a crazy fad, right? Everybody jumped on the Watu in like the middle of 2020, end of 2020, and then you never heard about it again. And that's kind of how I feel about it. I was super excited to get it, and I'm just like, I, I, it's not that exciting. So I <laughs> haven't pulled it out of the box to review and carry. Unlike this one, which is absolutely, completely, utterly obnoxious, <laughs> this is the Artisan Cutlery Ravine. No idea why I picked this up. I was actually going to pick up a proponent for the channel to review, and I just like flipped and grabbed this just because. Yeah, this thing's cool. It's different. It's like, it's just, it's a beast tank of a knife, all titanium, just absolutely ridiculous. Um, definitely not going to stay forever, but this is my Kershaw Launch 13. Still got to review this guy. Pretty cool, nice little Warncliffe, though. I still like the Kershaw Launch one better. This is the Steel Wheel Tenant, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. This kind of reminds me of... Where did it go? The Best Tech Mako that I just got in. It does a lot of things really well, but there's just nothing special about it, right? It's kind of like one of those that... It's kind of like the Civivi Backlash, but I feel like the Civivi Backlash kind of knocked it out of the park or caught a little bit more claim than these did. And, it, you know, they're, they're good, though. This is a weird little one. This is the v Lily Viper Knives, or Viper Lily, um, by Vox, apparently. M390 Steel, all titanium, crazy amount of milling. I got this in a trade, like, when I, I actually picked up a, my first Hinderer and this in a trade for, I don't remember what it was, maybe like an Atlantic Busker or something. I, I, I don't know. I was just kind of trading, 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 trading. Didn't really care what I was trading for, but uh, other than value, right? This is cool. Not one that I would ever carry. And kind of weird to review. It's more of a novelty, ugly, weird little guy, but super high quality. Another knife received in a trade from Jake over at Ohio State. This is the Steel Wheel Piercer. He actually didn't like this knife, if I'm not mistaken. And I genuinely do. I think this guy's really cool. I love the ergonomics of the rounded handle. It's, it's a pretty damn cool knife. So excited to carry this and review this one. And last but not least, a Gerber Highball or Fastball, whatever the hell this is, uh, Cleaver. I got this from my buddy Ryan, and he sent it to me, and he's like, I can't fix the blade centering and the action. Yeah, well, check this out. Blade is almost centered. I feel like it fell off center a little bit since it's been sitting in the box. But the action, no back and forth. So, no back and forth, the action's good. These two I intend to keep. First and foremost, this is my Cold Steel 8010. Carried this a couple days. It's obnoxious to carry. I hate fidgeting with it, but I love fidgeting with it because when I do, I put my finger here 
and I try to do it with one hand, and what happens? I'll try not to get it to happen again. Oop! It wants to come down on my freaking finger, and it cuts me. It cut me like three times already, and I love it. Cold Steel 8010, beast of a knife, great ergonomics. Haven't reviewed it yet, but we will. Another recent acquisition, I had to get one back. This is the Cold Steel 8015. Uh, but this is the 8015 Lite. So this is the OS 10A. And this is supposed to be FRN versus G10, I think, on the other one. But it really doesn't matter because this feels, the texture of this feels good. I just miss this knife. This is an awesome, awesome knife, and I'm glad to have it back in the collection. I think I'm going to try to collect the Andrew Demko series cold steel knives. All right, I'm going to chop the next part of the video out. I'm going to pull us back to... That's everything that's in my case on the bottom, but there's more. But wait, there's more. All right, well, I got a wall camera mount that I got to fix, because as I'm moving it around, it's going all over the freaking place. We'll talk about some of these knives on the table... Actually, let's talk about these now so I can get these out and I can rotate them in. So the Kershaw Launch 1 I've already shown you guys. This is my Benchmade Mini Freak S90V. I learned how to sharpen on this guy. Not learned how to sharpen on the S90V, but I learned how to sharpen S90V on this guy. And I learned that I hate sharpening S90V. So there's that, but I love that knife. This is my Spyderco PM2 and M390. I might be looking at getting some new scales, but I really like the titanium feel. So, I don't know. Changed out a bunch of the hardware for some cheap eBay hardware here. Which, if you do that, be careful because the eBay hardware sucks. Um, sometimes they're not the right lengths or anything. I do have a Flytanium, uh, what do they call that, lanyard tube blocker or whatever, plug. We have a uh, Timascus backspacer, MXG Deep Carry Pocket Clip. This is one of those builds that I'm building that I have too much money under this knife, but I love it. Next up. This is my Hinderer XM18, kind of a Frankenstein. I have new titanium hardware, a Sharp by Designs, excuse me, Sharp by Designs uh, carbon fiber. It's like the winter snow carbon fiber uh, scale. On this side, I have some more uh, titanium hardware, a titanium over travel stop, and then some titanium backspacers here. I also took off the flipper tab. If you guys didn't notice that already, this did not come. This came with the flipper tab. But I took it off to feel what it was like, and I love this knife so much more without the flipper tab. It's amazing. Um, I actually took out the bearings and put the phosphor bronze back in, and I have a new appreciation for phosphor bronze. What I'm noticing is most of my knives that I carry frequently are on phosphor bronze. For no other reason, it's not because of that. It's just the way that the cookie crumbles, I guess. This is a very, very cool. This is the XM18 Skinny Sheep's Foot. You guys might not have even seen this video yet. Typical CRK or CRK. This is a Chris Reeve Sabenza 31 in S35 VN with the micarta inlays. Um, yeah, I don't really need to say much more. This is, uh, I probably haven't even shown my unboxing of it yet, but I like this knife quite a bit. At the same time, and very stupidly so, the wife would kill me, I acquired an Umnuzan. Now, I got this because everybody, like Metal Complex, my buddy Ryan loves the Umnumzan better, but I can tell you guys, the ergonomics on the Umnumzan are freaking weird. You got this thing pointing out here, this thing is, the pocket clip is just bashing into my hand. Um, I, I love it, don't get me wrong, I'm probably going to keep them both forever. That being said... You know, I'm kind of acquiring knives that I want to, you know, collect forever. That being said, I genuinely enjoy carrying the Sabenza. And so, I don't know. I may do a comparison video one day with them just to do it. Next on the list. I keep forgetting this. Oh, this is the Mini Krypton or the Small Krypton by Riot and uh, Tashi Baraka. I won this in a recent Reddit raffle. Um, pretty cool little knife. Not my style. But it's a very cool little knife. Not an integral, but they really did great matching up that seam together. And then they put this cool little lanyard tube in there. Yeah, this is this is a cool little knife. Now we're getting into some of my personals, guys. Uh, obviously, these were personals, but this is my box of stuff. Here is my Wii Roxy. Love this knife. Loaded with hot spots. Um, you know, ever since I got the Mini Freak, I haven't been carrying the Roxy as much. 
but I don't ever really see myself getting rid of this. I, there's been a couple times I offered it in a trade, and it hurts my heart to do so. Here is the Wee Deacon that I polished the titanium here instead of, I, it was purple. I took off the purple, basically. The action is okay, but the detent is wicked light, right? Um, I don't even know if I can get rid of this. But that being said, this is a really cool knife. I thought the Deacon was going to be larger, so I was super stoked to get it. Waited about six months to get one. Finally found a deal on one. Got it. And, you know, the, the detent's weak. But, you know, it's it's a it's a cool knife. So, I don't know what I got to do. Maybe I can bend this lock bar a little bit more and make the detent a little bit better. Because the lock bar is super weak, too. If you look at it here, it's just really weak. Maybe that's what's going on there. Next on the list here, we have the TRM Neutron 1. This is the original. It's not the recessed liners or nothing. But I wanted to feel what the big deal was with the Neutron. And I get it. I haven't reviewed this yet, but I get it. I kind of get the big deal. This is cool. Probably a bug out killer if it was made more available. Very cool little knife. Not, It's not a cool little knife, though, to the point where I can't live without it. Here is the Wii Minex. Got this in a trade. Um, just wanted to review the Minex and kind of see it. Haven't reviewed it yet. It's been sitting on my desk. So as you can see, I got a lot of knives to review. And seemingly no time to freaking do it. My Kershaw Launch 11, you guys already know, this is mainly my unboxing knife, but I carry this a lot. Love this guy. But now that I got the Razzle, I'm probably going to inter-swap those two out. This is my Wii Saga. This poor little Saga hasn't been getting any pocket time lately. But a Mikel Williamson design, really like it. Um, I, I don't ever think this would go away. I freaking love this knife. I just don't carry it. It's weird. But it's a very, very cool piece. Makes me happy. Next on the list... Got this in a, cor a trade from Corey. I believe this is ZT0452. Yep, 0452. Uh, Sinkovich design. He was really disappointed with this for some reason. Sent it back. I'm not gonna. I don't want to know why he was disappointed with it because I want. I know he told me before, but I forgot. But I want to review it for myself and then I'll kind of go back over and see if our ideas match. This reminds me of a Best Tech Swordfish, to be honest. The Best Tech Swordfish was phenomenal. I just don't like the long slender pokey i'm more of a short fat chody type of knife guy so that's kind of where this one falls out of love for me that it probably won't stick around forever you guys know this one this is the wee malice um i did have to reprofile the tip it's not perfect but if you guys remember i snapped the tip off like crazy if i got a picture laying around i'll try to put it back in the video to show you guys It's, uh, it made me very, very sad, but this is one of my favorite knives in existence. Next, we have a Spyderco Para 3 in S45VN. I was stupid and thought that the S45VN was kind of a special run, but I believe this is the very first runs of the new Para 3s, which are coming standard in S45VN. All that means is that I don't have anything special, and I'm going to build this. I got some pretty sweet freaking scales on the way that you guys are going to be like, what? So... Really like this guy. Can't wait to build him and start carrying him. I really don't carry him before just because that G10 is so grippy. It's like crazy. Next on the list, we have the Wee Bullet. Um, awesome. Awesome knife. It's awesome. This thing is super snappy. It reminds me a lot of the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. And it just feels decent in hand. It's got a weird shaped blade. It got some weird reviews because, you know, this kind of protrudes here. The blade's recessed so far into where the scales would go and blah, blah, blah. I like it. Haven't reviewed it yet, though. Uh, fantastic knife, in my opinion. I have carried it quite a bit. Let's see. I don't want to end with this one. I, I got a couple more that we're going to show before that one. Here's my Protec SNG. Haven't been carrying this as much as I would like, but I freaking love this knife. Uh, I got this from John Cloden. Johnny. I uh, made a trade with him, and I... I'm happy with the trade. I love this guy. This guy's super cool. It makes me happy. It's one of my few automatics that I have that I will carry. We will see what happens in the future because I got some cool stuff coming in the future. But what the hell is this? Oh, I forgot about this guy. This little guy. This is my Riot Iron. So this guy is super cool. Super fat in hand. Kind of like your fat, beefy little son bitch. I don't know if I'm going to keep him. I wanted to replace my uh, Chaburkov Toucan with something that had a reverse flipping 
action. And this has that, but it doesn't have a toucan feel. It has its own feel, and it feels good. That is the or that is the Riot Knives uh, iron. Let's see here. Got a couple more. What the hell? There it is. Certainly last but not least, you guys saw this in my giveaway. This is the Mikkel Willemson uh, Sticks. I haven't reviewed it yet, so the dude's not going to get it. Um, and he's out in the Philippines, so I'm going to do my best to get it to him, but I'm not sure that I will. And then here is the uh, Mikkel Willemson Jix. So I got the Jix after I got the Sticks because I wasn't as happy with the Sticks, but I was much happier with the Jix. But we're going to be doing reviews and stuff and then comparisons on those before I let them go. It's just my time, guys, has been very, very limited with new kids, new jobs, and whatnot. So I'm just doing the best that I can to kind of pump out what I got without sacrificing a ton of quality in the process, which I feel like I already have. Let's see, is there anything else that I'm missing before I jump to the end? This isn't a good finale knife, but it is a good finale knife. This is my Spyderco Shaman. Beautiful, beautiful Shaman with some Aramis scales and an MXG Deep Carry Pocket Clip and an Aramis Backspacer. Backspacer confuses me because I would think it would sit flush. It does not sit flush. It sits kind of out. I don't, I don't get it. That kind of, I don't know. But everything else about this is fantastic. This Shaman is an XHP and I love it. All right, guys, this isn't a favorite. This is just a list of all my stuff. Kind of going through on a Saturday, showing you guys some knives to look at. Just I ripped through it as quick as possible. As you could tell, there was a ton, but I believe this encompasses 99% of my collection. I may be missing one or two. Is there one in my pocket? There is. And for a pocket dump today, Tyler, what's in your pocket? What's in my pocket is the Wee Knives Thug. This knife is sick. I love the build of this guy. I love the short, fat, chunky little son bitch, and that's what it is. That is all I got for you guys. Um, I channel update kind of, you know, I obviously started a new job. I start full time on Monday. I did a couple days this week just to kind of fill in. And uh, so it's not going to take up a bunch of my time, this new job, as far as like I won't be able to do videos. But I need to kind of learn my stuff before I focus on anything else. Plus, I have a three-week-old kid that also takes a lot of my time, along with my two-year-old son. So, we're a little busy. That's why you guys haven't been getting consistent videos. But as you can see, 80% of the knives that I showed you haven't had reviews yet. I'm stockpiling. I'm ready. I'm going to hit it. Don't go nowhere, right? We're going to do giveaways. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. It's going to be fun, and we're all going to freaking do it together, and you're going to like it. Speaking of giveaways... Anybody that made it to the end of the video, since this came back into my possession, this is the CGRB Rhea in carbon fiber, if you guys want it, why don't you tell me what your favorite knife of mine is? Which one did you like the best? I know I ripped through them really quick, but why don't you tell me which one you like the best? I don't even need a why, just kind of like, I like that one the best. Give me a why. I like that one the best because it's my favorite knife. I love the ergonomics. I love the look. Blah, 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 blah. That's all I got for you guys today. Don't forget, if you're shopping at White Mountain Knives, use the EEDC promo code. Help me out. Don't forget, I got a Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash EEDC. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Saturday. And I'm, I promise we're going to hit it. We're going to hit it hard soon, boys. We're going to hit it hard soon. Take care, guys. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It genuinely means a lot. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment. If you didn't like it, give me some feedback in the comments below and hit the thumbs down button. In case you guys don't know, I do have a Patreon, which will be listed right here. In that Patreon, we're giving bi-monthly giveaways to just the Patreons based on the number of Patreons that we have in the Patreon. We will also be giving discounts on all the knives that I sell based on the number of Patreons. My name is Tyler. This is Everyday EDC. You guys stay sharp, stay safe, and have a great day.